This bunker is so surreal. First a padlock, then a digicode. Someone really doesn't want visitors. <sighs> Wrong code. That only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Hell is the more survivalist supplies. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Jesus, I already hate this place. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Oh, that son of a bitch. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Somebody likes their whiskey. Can you imagine chilling in this room? These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel, Kate, all of these files. Talk about tortured. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod?
slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. Oh, oh that smell. Rachel. Oh. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Line. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. 
I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. section members only okay sorry but i'm on the list okay i know that max caulfield is not on any list for the vortex club nice try listen no you listen courtney is supposed to be the vip gatekeeper not me so please go i need to find a way to enter this bullshit club Not anymore. I can drink oh, more later. Shit. Oh, God, my stomach. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. You've been vomiting for like an hour. 
Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame this rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. She's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, uh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore Tex club. I fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the vortex. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Dan. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a self- Stop the music, okay? DJ, what the fuck? Oh my god, DJ Duo is checking me out. This party is so not cool. Yeah. Before takes court. So his ass has to be here today. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the vortex court.
Oh my god. Max, seriously? What are you doing here? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the bleachers. Just keep on dancing for Victoria, Taylor. And stay away from Nathan. Like, thanks for your concern. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. You're the one who got suspended, Max, and I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. So I'm not the only problem child here. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were Abaddon-esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her something to the dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him, and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir.
Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Suffer, Nathan. Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Jesus, be quiet, okay? We have to be invisible. Max, please hurry. Oh, God, Max, look. 
still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Chloe, look out. What the fuck? 